Greetings and salutations. This is the voice of Loquacious of Herd, bringing you his afterthoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 6, Episode 18, titled Buckball Season. I heartily suggest that you find and watch the episode itself, Sans Commentary, before proceeding with either this afterthoughts review or viewing my full reaction, which is hosted at the link in the description. Be warned, this afterthoughts review will contain spoilers for the episode. And with that out of the way, on to the review. Once again, the show does a lovely job of taking a subject that, as a general rule, I don't care much for, in this case sports, and crafts a delightfully entertaining story around it. Ordinarily, sports-themed offerings are not to my personal taste. I wouldn't necessarily say I dislike sports, but the appeal is lost on me. It's one of those things other people like, and that, at best, I tolerate as one of those social things one puts up with because one's friends are into it. As a result, I went into the episode with very low expectations, which, I've discovered, is a pretty good place to start, as it means that the episodes then exceed expectations quite quickly. Also, as a result, I doubt I'll have all that much to say about this episode. Right off the bat, we get a Million Dollar Man reference with the slow motion sound effect as Applejack attempts to work on her target bucking, only to be subverted by a curious Rainbow Dash's sudden appearance. Talk turns to the new sport of buckball, something that the Apples are apparently quite interested in, and how Brayburn has been boasting about his own team's prowess. Well, Rainbow Dash doesn't want to let another's boasting slide unchallenged, even if she isn't familiar with this particular sport. Rainbow Dash does get filled in during the opening credits, and takes on the role of expert to some eye-rolling from Applejack, and those two recruit Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie to help with their teams. They'll be needing them to help with tryouts for the third position on a buckball team, the Unicorn. Explanations follow. Again, kudos to the show for crafting a new sport from scratch, making it simple enough to be easily understood, uh, yet buckball is different enough from conventional sports to feel unique while remaining similar enough to feel familiar. It is a game with a uniquely pony feel to it, with distinct roles for an earth pony, a pegasus, and a unicorn, so a rather cooperative game, which seems quite appropriate. Indeed, in terms of fantasy sports, buckball struck me as kind of a quidditch light. I liked it. But if Applejack and Rainbow Dash are respectively offense and defense, who will be the unicorn goaltender? And not so much goaltender in the sense of protecting the basket, but in the sense of tending to its position on the outskirts of the field. I suppose that makes it as much catcher as anything else. So the team of Applejack and Fluttershy will play against Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie, as each team lets unicorns try out for the catcher role until they can find the best available goaltender. Rarity isn't around. One assumes she wouldn't be any more interested in outdoor sports than she was back in The Return of Harmony. Twilight's an alicorn, so I think she's probably disqualified due to rules on who can do what, or if not, she's likely got other things going on, such as teaching the equally absent Starlight Glimmer some friendship lessons. I can see why AJ wouldn't have tapped any of those three unicorns to aid in this particular personal rivalry. Especially since the underlying motivation isn't so much about building up buckball as a fun pastime, nor about crafting friendships so much as it is about finding a way to humiliate rivals. Not really that good of a place to start, but AJ and Rainbow Dash managed to take it and run with it in a good way, so kudos to them. Along the way, we discover that Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy are naturally gifted at this particular athletic pursuit. Pinkie Pie must have been practicing with bouncing and kicking balls, perhaps while stashing balls all around Ponyville in case of ball emergency? Likewise, all those years of tail extensions have given Fluttershy an awesome level of strength and control with that, uh, limb, enabling her to grab and toss balls with ease. While they both lack the competitive must-beat-the-other-team drive that both Applejack and Rainbow Dash possess, so long as it's a matter of just having fun, Flutters and Pinkie dominate the field. The only reason that the Unicorn tryouts were even modestly fair is because the two of them were on opposite teams. Unfortunately, of the many unicorns who show up for practice, a lovely parade of background ponies, their own natural aptitude for catching balls and buckets ranges from the awful to the absurdly bad. Who will be able to fill the third position, given that it clearly won't be one of the main seven? Enter Snails. To my considerable delight, this local simpleton is a Zen Master prodigy when it comes to levitation. Snails has always been an amusing character, a foil for snips, and generally speaking, a seemingly good-natured young stallion. 
Based on how his character is drawn, I imagine he's a bit older than most of the other foals in his class, a testament to his, uh, lack of academic excellence. But his heart is in the right place. And since season one, his own magic has progressed at least as far as Sweetie Bell's. Last time I recall seeing Snails actively trying to work a spell, he was struggling to invoke light in the Ursa Miner's cave. Now though, it seems his empty mind grants him a supernatural skill at matching floating bucket to rapidly approaching ball. Three Pony Team achieved! Only it's not going to be Applejack and Rainbow Dash. In a refreshing surprise, these two competitive sports ponies both eagerly yield their places to Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. AJ and RD want their team to win, and they view Pinkie and Flutters as the best shots for that goal. Which then segues into the conflict. While Applejack and Rainbow Dash have done a remarkable job of putting their own egos aside by stepping down to allow other, more adept ponies to step up into their places, those two have unfortunately fully engaged their egos in this whole conflict, this drive to win, and have begun projecting onto Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie their own feelings about how to go about achieving sports victory. Hard work, mastering drills and exercises designed to hone the skills needed for buckball, and a constant focus on the game as competition with the goal of defeating one's rivals. For better or worse, this is how Applejack and Rainbow Dash both train and how they both approach a sporting match. But this is entirely unlike Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. Fluttershy, while she has grown ever so much bolder over the seasons, is a very conflict-averse pony. Helping ponies is her things not beating them, and especially not in a public arena. Likewise, Pinkie Pie doesn't have Flutter's shyness issues, but Pinkie is about inclusion, making sure every pony is having a good time, and so thrusting her in a position where the good time of one group of ponies requires her to personally ensure that another group of ponies is having a very bad time indeed, is quite literally pitting her against herself. Flutters and Pinkie fall apart in training. Applejack and Rainbow Dash can see the results, but aren't yet able to work out the reasons why. It's a mystery. Still, after practice, Pinkie and Fluttershy start talking themselves up out of their funk. It's not like there will be a big audience of friends and acquaintances watching the competition, which is something Fluttershy dreads, nor will the Ponyville ponies be all that invested in the game so Pinkie Pie can put aside her worries about disappointing her friends and ruining their good time. Both can simply relax and enjoy the game, right? Alas, no. Murphy apparently heard their comments, and so Applejack and Rainbow Dash have rushed off to HALP. I'll remind my gentle viewers that HALP is like help, but it isn't. Derby is the master of the art of HALPing. And this bit of HALPing. Well, AJ and RD rounded up as much local enthusiasm as they could muster, getting lots of locals, including Derby and Lyra, into the spirit of Buckball. Because having all those ponies counting on you, focused on you, cheering and supporting you, this is what AJ and RD really need to focus and engage their drive to win. But Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy aren't Applejack and Rainbow Dash. Cue the train ride to Appaloosa and the continuing halt of AJ and RD. Finally, Pinkie and Flutters have had enough. They've had so much enough that Pinkie can't manage to get a word out about why she's unable to continue as she is, and Flutters goes full on rant. Then both flee, weeping, to hide in the most adorable fashion in the luggage car, where they comfort one another. At long last, Applejack and Rainbow Dash get it. They see where they made their mistakes, and how they were pushing Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy in the wrong way and far too hard. The trick now is finding a way to work past all that. Also, kudos to Snails. That kid is unflappable, and he's just so cheerfully happy to be included at all. Dude may not be bright, but he's good-hearted. Even with his new status as a local sports figure, he doesn't seem to let it go to his head. I found this portrayal of Snails to be exceptionally enjoyable. Keep up the good work, riders! Applejack and Rainbow Dash hatch a cunning plan. They take the pressure off of Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy entirely by offering to take their places in the actual competition. But AJ and RD state they need some extra practice, more exercise really, before the big game. So a three-on-two game is set up. Applejack, Rainbow Dash, and Snails versus Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, who are at a disadvantage because their goal is stationary and thus much more easily guarded than a goal which darts around to intercept incoming balls. The real handicap isn't the lack of a unicorn, though. It's the fears and discomfort that Pinkie and Flutters still feel. But a little bit of light encouragement from Applejack, and soon Flutters and Pinkie Pie are back in the game, and they are playing just for fun. 
When playing just for fun, those two are beasts. Even down a pony, they crush the opposing trio, leaving RD and AJ ragged while not even having gotten their own mains disheveled. And so the reveal. Applejack and Rainbow Dash would still like the devastating duo of Pinky and Flutters to compete, because when they're just playing for fun, they are amazing. Pinky and Fluttershy still have concerns, but Rainbow Dash, Applejack, and even Snails chime in to soothe those enough to allow Pinky and Flutters to take the field against Appaloosa. What a match it was, decided by a single point, and the Ponyville team won. Brayburn took his loss rather gracefully, especially considering his earlier boasting and Rainbow Dash's in-your-face attitude, but the real lesson here was that the really important part of the game is having fun. And when you get right down to it, this episode was likewise a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. If you wish to see my full reaction to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 6, Episode 18, titled Buckball Season, the link, as I mentioned earlier, is in the description. Feel free to leave any comments or likes for that reaction here on this Afterthoughts review. And until next time, as always, kindly remember, y'all are awesome. Stay awesome.